Hello, my angels. I'm back with another one. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Okay, so today I'm going to be cooking a beef stew. And I'm reaching out to my single mothers that have small children. They're by themselves. They're living off a budget. But one thing I know is that a lot of single mothers and senior citizens get these boxes. They have like potatoes, carrots, squash, and, uh, and canned goods, okay? Use it. Make a meal for your kids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making a beef stew, okay? This is what I use. You don't have the meat, but you have these. I use two cans of this, okay? Two cans is all it took. I drained the liquid off of them. Now I put them in the skillet because I'm going to cook the meat, okay? I'm using a can of green beans, okay? I'm going to use the sweet peas. Package of mixed vegetables. I got these three things at the Dollar General. Also this, the Rotel tomatoes, okay? I got my onions and bell peppers already cut up and ready to go. I got my potatoes. They're ready to go. Okay. I'm going to be using onion powder, garlic powder, and this right here. This is the black pepper. Okay. I'm going to use those three things to season my meat. Okay. I got Old Bay seasoning, uh, Sister Maggie. I have Tony Creole seasoning, and then I have the Guido. I'll also be using this to season my meat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move you guys over here where I am cooking this canned meat, okay? I've already started the process of cooking it, so I'm going to turn my fire up a little bit because I turned it down so I could talk to you guys. And so what I, I did, I'm going to do it again. I'm gonna season it with some garlic powder, some onion flakes, oh, I'm gonna turn this down again because I want it to cook slow, I don't want it to cook too fast. Uh, the guillo, this is the guillo, okay? This is an all-purpose seasoning with garlic in it. So we're gonna use that. And it does have a little salt in it, you guys, so just let you be, you know, use it in moderation. Now, we're going to use the black pepper. This is fresh bell pepper. It's organic. Uh, the only place you can get this is at the African market. So, we're going to sprinkle some black pepper on top of there. And then I'm going to let you guys get a good look at this meat, okay? Let you guys get a good look at this. Let me stir this up a little bit. Yeah, I love using the onion flakes and meats like this because it just gives it a whole different flavor, which is really good, okay? Now, this is about ready to come out because, like I said, I already had started cooking it before I came on. And I'm going to let you guys get a good look at this, okay? And this is going to be a beef stew, you guys. A beef stew, okay? Here we go. Look at that. Now, don't that look good? Okay, now what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this out of the skillet, put it in a bowl, okay? I'm going to put this in a bowl. I'm going to put this in a bowl so that I can go ahead and start working on my sauce. Okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of my oil. You see my little can? You know, I told you guys that y'all was passing this up. You remember your grandmother's grease can? Well, they actually make the cans for the grease, okay? And you can get these at Dollar General, too, okay? You might want to look for that. That's a good investment. So I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in here. 
put some oil in there. Kind of swirl it around a little bit. Turn my fire up so that grease can get hot, okay? We call it grease. You may call it cooking oil. I'm from the South. Shoot me, okay? Shoot me. That's what I say. If you don't like what I call what I call certain things, hey, shoot me. It's okay. I'm entitled. To, that's what I grew up calling it, and that's what I'm going to call it, okay? So let's go ahead and pour our uh, bell peppers and onions and all of the holy, holy trinity in here, okay? We're going to start cooking that stuff, okay? Go ahead and get this cooked up. Go ahead and get that cooked up. Hope you guys are able to see everything I'm doing here. I had a girlfriend tell me, show up from the beginning to the end, Joyce. And I'm trying to do this, okay? I'm trying to show you guys from the beginning to the end. All right. Look at that. Oh, my God, this looks so good. I'm let that cook a little bit. This is going to be the best beef stew. I'm telling you, this is on a budget. And all the bell peppers and onions and all that came from Dollar General too. I'm telling you, you can cook your kids a meal on a budget. You really can. Hey, I was a single mother for a long time. And let me tell you something. I learned how to cut corners and how to make food stretch. My kids could eat two and three plates at a time. And they and I, they had meals every day. I'm just going to put it like that. Meals every day. I didn't play when it comes to figuring out a way that I could feed my kids. And I was a single mother by myself after my divorce. Okay? Well, for my first divorce, I was a single mother by myself, so. And, of course, once I got my husband, that made things a lot easier. But I had to, let me tell you something. If we struggled, I'm telling you we didn't feel it because of my cooking skills, okay? Because of my cooking skills. I learned how to manage money and be able to buy food for my children so that I could feed them, you know? Okay, so now, I don't want these to start browning. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of the sauces that I have here, okay? This is the Chipotle sauce. Just for that little kick, I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I've never added it before to a beef stew. But because I want that kick, I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Plus, I had it. Why not use it? Okay? I had it. Why not use it? Okay? Okay. Also, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato paste, okay? This sauce may be a little thick, you guys, but hey, better thick than thin. Okay. Go ahead and put. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my Rotel tomatoes. this Ooh. and I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff out of my way here I'm going to go ahead and cut this fire down a little bit and let this cook really slow. All right. Go 
now let's go ahead and season this as well. I've got my Obey seasoning. This is Obey, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and... And that does have a lot of salt in it, so I want to be kind of careful with that. I want to mix that in. taste of the salt content on that one because I don't want it too salty. Okay. We don't have to add any more salt to that one. Let's go ahead and add <laughs> Ooh. Like I've said, if you're not sneezing, if you're not sneezing, you're not seasoning, okay? And I noticed a lot of people stole my saying. And they're using that, which I don't care because it's the truth, you know? Okay. Garlic powder. I mean, I mean, onion flakes. I just did the garlic powder. Now I've got to open up my onion powder. Where is it? Right here. It's open. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of this onion powder in here. A little bit of, just a little bit of Tony's Creole seasoning. Now, this sister Maggie is going to take it to another taste, which is going to be really good. Okay. So, that's all the seasonings that I'm using for this sauce, okay? So, let me kind of wipe around my stove a little bit. I hate cooking on a dirty stove. I just don't do it. Okay? I just don't like it. But, um... There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So now, now that I've done that, okay, I'm going to start my water. Because here, my water gets really, really... And I do mean really hot. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do a taste test on this sauce. Now that I've put everything together. Let's see. I hope it's not too salty. Mmm. Mmm. This is going to be perfect. Okay. done that. I'm going to transfer all of this into my pot, okay? I'm going to transfer it into the pot. Okay. Mm. Pour that in there. Needs more. Needs more. See how hot my water gets out here? It gets really hot. That's why you have to be careful. And you will definitely scar yourself. Uh oh. Uh oh, sorry you guys. I wasted a little water on the stove and it put my fire out. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side because I may have to use that skillet again to add more water to this. But I think this is it. Now what I'm getting ready to do is I am going to add my potatoes to this first. Because potatoes, you know, it takes a long time to cook down. So I'm adding the potatoes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add my frozen mixed vegetables. 
Let me get a knife over here. I'm going to throw this a little bit. She can take this up. All right. And I'm thinking, hold on, I might have to get me another. Yeah, I'm going to need some. Okay, this will do. This is going to do. Okay. Yes, that, that's going to have to do because I'm making a small pot, so. And if I put too much in here, it's going to overwhelm it. So. It's going to make the pot too full. So. Let me go ahead and add my meat back in here. Let me go ahead and add my meat back in here. And the last thing I'm going to add once this kind of cooks a little bit is going to be the two canned vegetables that I have, which is the sweet peas and the other one, okay? So there we go. I'm going to let that cook a little bit. I did make the sauce a little thick, you guys, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> It's got like a chili thickness to it. I think it was because of that Chipotle. I just, no, I've never used it before. Okay. And I want to see if I, because, let me see if I can go ahead. Do I need to add some more of the mixed vegetables with this? And I think so. Okay. Let me see if I have another thing of any vegetables in here. And I do. I do. That's why it's always good to keep your stuff stocked up. Okay? Your soles and vegetables and things, keep them stocked up, you guys. Today. Yeah, Dollar General. I always pick up one when I go there. Because they're so cheap. So I always pick up one. I'm going to go ahead and add another thing in this vegetable. Okay. There we go. And let's go ahead and mix all that in. Here. Okay. 